how can I apply for a job in Saudi Arabia? Most of you, you've not tried to take an, an, um, an opportunity to explore Saudi Arabia. Like Saudi Arabia, like any other Gulf countries, it has all the opportunities. The opportunities are there. But how definitely do you have to go there? Most of the people know Saudi Arabia as only a place where your only housemates would go there, that they only have opportunities for housemates. No, they also have opportunities, security guard opportunities. They have opportunities for cleaners. They have bellboy opportunities. They have uh, technician opportunities. There are opportunities like any other Gulf countries that you will definitely talk about or any other Gulf country that you normally talk about. But the question is that, how do I get a job in Saudi Arabia? Or how do I apply a job in Saudi Arabia? It's like the same question someone would ask. How do I apply for a job in Qatar? Or how do I apply for a job in Dubai? So the question is that today is that we only, uh, cause, uh, we only focus in our mind is on Saudi Arabia. How do I apply a job in Saudi Arabia? Remember, when we are talking about these Gulf countries, these Gulf countries are not the same. And when we talk about these Gulf countries, first of all, what we need to consider or what we need to look at is what we call the opportunity for the VCT visa. Okay, most of you you had what we call a VCT visa. You've had what we call the VCT visa. And which of these Gulf countries has more opportunities for you to use or for you to apply for the VCT visa and go inside and do the job handling? I think most of you will bear bear with uh, that. Uh, will bear with me and we will get to think the same way i think it is only the uae or what you call dubai the uae dubai is where you definitely the gulf countries where they are so free that way you can access or you can apply for the visit this visa then you can go inside of the country you can enter the country for a given period of time that is being given to you and job hard if you're so lucky enough 100 percent 100 percent you'll get the job in the first two weeks if you're not lucky enough you may get a job out in the last month of, of your, your, your your visa stay or if you're not lucky enough you may not get the job it depends on all the opportunities that are being put forward and what exactly you want yourself and how you are prepared when you go for those job hunting in these countries when you look at these other countries when we are talking about a visa visa it's a little bit a little bit very hard a little bit very difficult for you to get a visa visa in one way or the other and you're accessing that visa visa to come into the, this country to apply for a job is another situation of it all. But how can you apply for a job in Saudi Arabia? Yes, sincerely speaking, the only way you can access a job in Saudi Arabia is by getting what we call, uh, like what we call a, a, a work sponsorship or what we call a work visa. Uh, when we talk about a work visa, we are looking at you can say work visa, you can say work sponsorship, you can say employment visa. Uh, we are looking at a situation where but you are being sponsored by someone to come and work into the country. What, what does it mean? That the person who is sponsoring you, that person who is sponsoring you, will take the, the initiative to look for you or will take the initiative to apply for you the visa on his behalf. That is what we call the employment sponsorship or what we call the work visa at this state and it's the only option that you can use to come in Saudi Arabia. So for the subscriber that asks you about coming to Saudi Arabia, to Saudi Arabia, that is the only option. But remember, still much as we may look at the work visa being offered to you or what you call that sponsorship offered to you, first of all, before you, you that work visa is being, uh, is being got for you or someone uh, willing to get a work visa on your behalf, you must first get what you call a job offer. Yes, it is the job offer that is going to be given to you and you definitely look at what the requirements for it all. When you agree and counter sign or you, you, you put your signature down on, 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 on the offer that is being given to you, that person is what he will take. Then you look uh, for a visa, he will look for you the visa on his behalf. Meaning that you accept it. You accept it. You get a job offer and you countersign on the job offer. It's that you have accepted the job. So this person, you are giving a go-ahead for this person to go ahead and look for you what you call a visa. Or you're giving a go-ahead for this person to sponsor you or to be your sponsor. 
to look for you a visa. And once that person gives you the visa, depending on what kind of agreement that you had, depending on what you, what kind of job you applied for, or depending on what is being given to you at the time, then probably you will get a visa at the end of it all. And that visa is what you're going to use to enter into the country. I think that is normal. That is what it is like to all countries. We look at countries like Bahrain, we look at countries like Oman, we look at countries like Kuwait, we look at countries like Qatar. So they little bit very restrict on their visas. So most of most of the time, their jobs are under what we call employment visa, which is quite very very understandable and normal. So you find that that is the definitely the only solution or the only way that you're left with. And once your visa comes and you can enter into the country, depending on what agreement that you had with that employer or the person that got you the visa, then definitely you can start off the job and you can do the job at one or the other. So meaning that you are, after getting the visa, you are moving to the country, you already got into the country. Now it just depends on you after finishing your contract and you wish you cannot add this more contract according to what kind of the um, agreement that you sign if it's a two-year contract yes you're in the country you have the right to finish up the contract you have the right to move up amicably then probably you can look up a new employer that even has more opportunities or more 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 salary in case you want that and remember when i normally i normally advise people that some of these countries are very some of these gulf countries are very little bit tricky or very hard to come to uh, so it's better you first use an agent to come you come into the country. Once you come into the country, you'll analyze the situation. You look at the situation. Then after, in case you finish up your contract in New York, you you will get the opportunity because you you cannot get the opportunity from out in some of these Gulf countries. You can only access those opportunities that are available, that are within your line of education, that are within your line of training, that are within your line of experience when you are in the country. Or when you are inside a country, which presumably it will solve a lot of things at one or the other. Hope I've tried to answer you well. So if you are planning to come to Saudi Arabia, please first look for what someone to sponsor you, or look for any recruitment agencies that have uh, jobs in Saudi Arabia. Go to Saudi Arabia. Then after you finish up your contract, definitely it will be a very good deal, or it will be a very good time for you to look for opportunities that are already within the system, or because you already also aware of the system and you know all the maneuvers of one way or the other. So definitely you can look for a bigger opportunity. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. I, I hope uh, I've shared it rightly. It makes for the next creation. By the way, if it's your first time come across this channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell because it is always very important for you to get the updates whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It makes for the next creation.